how to steal any background or how to copy any background you want for yourself using photoshop and also the internet so the most social media i use is the instagram so that's where i take all some of my backgrounds from so and i'll show you how i do that so now i'm in the uh, i'm the exploit page of instagram right now so i'm going to scroll down and see the particular background i love to use so i'm going to click on the particular one i want to use which is this one over here so you can keep scrolling and check the one you want so but this is the one i will be loving to use right now i'll click on it what i just need to do right now is to do what i click on the three dot over here and i'm going to click on copy then i'll do what i will go to another site a website called insta downloader insta downloader download i'm going to click on search and i'm going to open the site the website of what i just need to do right now is just to paste the link i copied from the instagram paste it over here i'm going to do what to click on download wait for it to load up and i'm going to scroll down i'm going to pick the one i want which is this particular one i will click on download so once it does right now it's going to be on my pc so now photoshop wants to be including everything we want for a picture inside of photoshop they don't want us to go elsewhere and be downloading things and bringing it back right now including background generation before we jump into that let me show you how to go about it first the first thing we need to remove the subject in the background i'll do what i'll drag it down into photoshop and here's the picture we'll be making use of right now as you can see all i just need to do right now is to pick on my polygonal axle tool and i'm going to circle around the subject but trust me, to be able to achieve this thing perfectly, you'll be needing Photoshop 2024 or Photoshop 2025. So you need a paid version of Photoshop for you to be able to achieve this seamlessly and actually steal the background you want or copy the background designs you want. So let me say I'm done with the selection right now. All I just need to do right now is to click on my generative view. And if you're not using Photoshop 2024, 2025, you won't have this option in your PC. But if you don't have that option, you don't have an issue, there's a video I dropped on how to actually generate background outside of Photoshop free of charge using a particular software. So go through my videos and actually you're going to see the watch and you're going to learn a lot from it. All I just need to do right now is to click on generate and I wait for it to load up. So you're going to fill this area up with what it thought the background is supposed to be without the subject being there. So let's just wait to load up. And boom, this is what it did for us. It actually filled those area up with initial background color. So probably I can use this one like this. Very, very easy to do. I'll just have to place it on my image, as you can see. I can use this like this. But if I don't like this one, there's a way I can actually work around it. Let me merge everything together, Ctrl E, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to save the image. So right now, let me say, yes, I want to recreate this background inside of Photoshop. It's very, very easy. So there's a panel over here which is actually your Adobe Firefly panel. So just click on the panel. It's going to open an entire new panel for you inside of Photoshop where you can actually do what? Describe what you want, just like other prompts we use in generating background outside of Photoshop. You're going to improve the prompts here and you need to generate for you. But since you already have a style in mind, you want to do what? You want to recreate. All you just need to do is just to upload the style. Come to the style over here. Click on choose image. And pick the image you want to actually recreate. This you don't want to recreate. Click on open. And under the prompt, let me just confirm this right now. Under the prompt, I'm just going to write generate similar image. Similar image to the reference. Reference attach attach below. B E L O W. And you're good to go. Just click on generate and wait for it to load up. And it's going to do what? It's going to generate three different variants for you of the background you want. All you just need to do is for you to select what you want and you export the image. Very, very simple as that. Let's see what it's going to give to us right now. And boom, this is what it did for us. It generated this, gave us another variant. You also give us another variant, which is very, very nice. I love this so, so much. Look at what it gives to me right now. Very, very nice. But I don't like how small the floor area is. Very, very simple to do. All you just need to do is to click on crop to or C on your keyboard. Then you expand here. You expand till you see fit. Once you're done right now, you don't need to click anything down. Just click on generative expand and just click on what? Click on generate and wait for it to load up. It's going to fill all this area up with what it thought is going to be there. 
very very simple and straightforward it's not just more than that let's wait and see what it's going to give to us right now boom look at what it did for us it expanded the background it gave us three variants one two and three all you just need to do is just to export your picture and you are good to go very very simple and straightforward you just generated the background inside of photoshop using reference and if you don't want to use a reference you just want to use a prompt alone it's very very easy to do all you just need to do is to input the prompt you want on the picture then you are good to go if this video helped don't forget to drop a like someone out there might be in this video see you guys on my next video tutorial reflex out